Hello everybody, it's Philip from IAD1507 and this is our week 4 review video. This week we were asked to answer a few questions and give our thoughts. So, let's start from the beginning. What did we find most valuable this month? Well, that was definitely going to be the Game Center programming guide here from uh, Apple. This covered pretty much everything that we wanted to know from leaderboards, achievements, the challenges, how to implement them, what they were for, how to use them, and the, the secondary checklists that were here were, were quite useful as well. But one of the things I wanted to challenge myself with was creating my own class for dealing with things. So I wanted to follow the paradigms that they laid out here and create my own class to handle them. So using that information coupled with the iOS SDK Game Center Achievement and Leaders Part 2 tutorial from Toots Plus, I was able to create my own achievements class that ties off of the GK achievement and the GK Game Center stuff from GK Tapper. So I get to handle my own achievements in here. As I can see, I get to clarify them all. I get to handle my own methods for resetting, for setting, for updating, for submitting, and of course for switching each individual in achievement out using a single individual method. It was actually quite fun to do. If it wasn't for this documentation and part of this tutorial right here, it would have taken a lot longer to get done than I wanted to get done. Uh, what did I find most challenging? Uh, believe it or not, because I was doing a lot of the coding by myself, I'm still relying on Game Center Manager and the GK Tapper uh, GK Achievements, but having my own achievement class was the most challenging. Because not only did I have to um, you know, handle how was I going to interact with that class inside of my Game Manager, but I had to create my own custom enums and work with that as well. And let me see if I can show you the enum for that real quick. Here we go. So I created my own custom enums that allowed me to keep track of all my counts and all of my achievement types so that I can pass individual achievement names and IDs through without having to co hard code information into the application. That was a little tricky. It's, it's, it's a new type of assign property that you have to use, but you know, it's fun. Um, what would you have done differently if you could? I would say I would have added some challenges in there. You know, I did create a few of the achievements as repetitive achievements, and I wanted to make it to where people could challenge their friends, like on kill count and stuff like that. But I never got a chance to get that into the application before it was due, so I would change that. Um, I would add probably a little bit more dynamism to the boss fights as well, and maybe have a few of the larger ships shoot back at you as you're traveling. But other than that, I really like the game the way it turned out. And, of course, a few things that could use a little bit more clarification. You know, I like the documentation that we had in the class. I'm a little bit skeptical on the achievement um, requirement for the week four project as well as the achievement uh, assignment project because it really didn't go into in-depth of some examples of what types of achievements were. Like the measurement achievements and stuff like that didn't really apply to every type of a game out there. My game is an endless space type game. There is no complete the level with 100% life. There is nothing like that for me, or complete the level without losing a life, or complete the level without shooting something. And there is nothing like that in mine because there is no completing a level. You survive as long as you can. And it would have been great to see a few more examples of how to use some of those achievement types with different types of scenario games instead of just using one standard game. But other than that, I really did like the class. It was fun to create my own game. I'm not a game developer, and I probably will not be a game developer, but it was fun, and I hope to do it again sometime in the future if I ever get around to making another game. Other than that, guys, you have a great one. Bye-bye.